Escalation in the southeast of the Ukraine is a direct consequence of the reckless policy of Kiev, which is conducting war against its own people. With the support and under the influence of a number of uh, states, the Kiev uh, authorities have torpedoed all political agreements on resolving the crisis in the Ukraine. The Geneva Declaration of 17th April and the Berlin Declaration of 2nd of July not to mention uh, the agreement of the 21st February by the current authorities who were uh, in the former opposition. They cast aside this agreement, which opened a real opportunity for a civilized solution to the crisis. Now, the so-called peace plan uh, proposed by President Poroshenko unilaterally was only a step in further escalation because uh, the truce was predicated by capitulation of the insurgents. And this against a backdrop of any real steps towards the beginning of, of a political process or negotiations with representatives of the regions. Where is the inclusive national dialogue promised by Kiev or the constitutional reform? decentralization of uh, authority or a special status for the Russian language. The only thing we're seeing is a fight against dissent where political parties are banned and uh, the media that doesn't tell the line is banned. President Poroshenko has uh, often made peace sound peaceful statements just yesterday this this was his comment of the outcome of the uh, high level meeting in minsk and i'm quoting the main goal of kiev is peace we demand decisive action that could uh, bring peace to the, to ukraine end of quote now he also spoke of some kind of new urgent uh, uh, peace set plan where is this plan or is this another maneuver to distract attention while in fact, trying to solve the situation by force. We hope that uh, the uh, uh, Kiev authorities will not uh, uh, lose uh, the positive uh, uh, opportunities of the Minsk meeting. And we uh, uh, think that uh, the Ukrainian armed forces, uh, in fact, uh, uh, have uh, trampled on all standards of humanitarian law, and they have been uh, uh, shelling uh, civilian quarters. They're using uh, artillery, uh, uh, munitions with uh, uh, phosphorus and other uh, weapons. In the area of the so-called anti-terrorist operations, there are four million people living. Hundreds of thousands of people sit in basements for weeks without water, electricity, uh, food, or any kind of uh, medicine. The overall number of those killed is over 2,000, and their number is increasing geometrically. The number of uh, displaced people, including refugees uh, from Ukraine to, the, to Russia, is already over 814,000 people. Uh, on uh, the media, you hear about the terrible losses of the Ukrainian army. This is uh, confirmed uh, by the mass protests on the Ukraine against mobilization. Hundreds of Ukrainian soldiers, uh, for different reasons, find themselves on the territory of Russia. We give them food, uh, drink. We care for them when we send them back to the Ukraine. We expect the same kind of humane attitude of the uh, Kiev authorities towards uh, Russian airborne troops uh, that have uh, been the subject of much speculation over the past 24 hours. At the same time, it is said that they were uh, stopped uh, uh, while they had their documents uh, and uh, their weapons were not armed. This certainly doesn't look like an armed group taking part in conflict. Everyone knows that uh, uh, there are Russian volunteers on the east of the, in the eastern parts of the Ukraine. No one is hiding that. Uh, we'd like to see similar transparency uh, shown by other countries. For example, uh, uh, maybe our American colleagues can tell us about uh, what uh, the tens of American advisors who are in the uh, building of the Ukrainian Security Council are doing, or how many so-called uh, uh, Ukrainian mercenaries uh, from so-called uh, military enterprises are waging war thousands of kilometers away from their land. Where uh, did the sec uh, Ukrainian security forces get the latest uh, w weapons? Now, the uh, American ambassador said, what kind of message can we send to uh, Russia's neighbors? Well, I would suggest that we send a, a message to Washington. Stop interfering in the internal affairs of sovereign states. Stop trying to uh, uh, undermine uh, a regime that you don't like. S uh, restrain your geopolitical ambitions. When not only the, then not only Russia's neighbors, but many other countries around the world would uh, breathe a sign of relief. Furthermore, stop uh, taking advantage of the topic of uh, the Malaysian airliner that was shut down. Until uh, up to now, only Russia has made a significant contribution to uh, investigating this tragedy. All the others are only. Uh, we hear hints, we hear, we hear speculations, and we don't get any full information. Or, for example, why, uh, why haven't the, the Ukrainian authorities provided uh, uh, records of uh, uh, 
of their air traffic controllers, conversations. It's still a, a, for some reason we don't know why. Recently, in spite of significant resistance of certain members of the Security Council, the first Russian humanitarian convoy was delivered to Luhansk under uh, the auspices of the International Red Cross. Today we are uh, preparing for the sending of a second convoy. An agreement on this was confirmed today in uh, in a telephone call between uh, Foreign Minister uh, Lavrov and uh, Foreign Minister of Ukraine. Distinguished members of the Security Council, we have to remember that the Council is not there to disseminate uh, uh, guesswork or speculation or uh, uh, spread uh, accusations, but to uh, uh, find solutions to crises. Today we suggest adopting the following statement for the press of the uh, Security Council. I'm asking the Secretary to disseminate uh, the uh, English text, uh, which I will read in Russian. The members of the Security Council expressed their serious concern about the deteriorating situation in the, s the southeast of the Ukraine and called an immediate and unconditional uh, ceasefire. Members of the Security Council called on inclusive political dialogue in the Ukraine based on the Geneva uh, Declaration of 17 April 2014 and the joint Berlin declaration of the 2nd of July of 2014. In this context, they noted the role of the contact group and strongly urged on the immediate resumption of the process in the framework of the contact group. Members of the Security Council called on the international community to step up their efforts in order to provide humanitarian assistance to the population of uh, the Donetsk and Lugansk uh, regions of Ukraine. End of text. Uh, statement of the press by the Security Council. We suggest uh, uh, voting on this statement now, today, at this table. Thank you very much.